Details here tonight at 1030. A Chester County couple is receiving some backlash. Well, this comes after the self-proclaimed Republicans appeared in a campaign ad supporting Vice President Kamala Harris for president. Action News reporter Leland Pinder now with the story. For Bob Lang, he says it was January 6th. For his wife, Christina, she says it was the former president's handling of the pandemic. When asked, both said they felt it was important to speak out. I'm pissed, you know. I'm pissed because this we no one deserves this. Yeah. These are the kinds of voicemails Bob and Christina Lang have been receiving lately, and here's why. The choice is very simple. I'm voting for Kamala. I am voting for Kamala Harris. These Chester County farmers who run Sugartown Strawberries appeared in a campaign ad for Vice President Kamala Harris targeting Trump voters in rural America. Christina initially did not want to participate. I realized that the message that we wanted to reach, you know, certain people, uh, was more important. The ad went live in select areas last week, but was discussed on a national cable news program soon after, and that's when the onslaught began. They're foul. They're absolutely the most disgusting things. These Republicans say their party is divided. Villanova Department of Communications senior instructor Derek Arnold explains why these cross-party endorsements draw such intense ire from within. There is such a strong personality pull with Donald Trump, with his his followers. Amid the hate, though, Bob, who's also a commissioner in Willistown and has been for nearly 30 years, says there's also been support. Business at the farm has ticked up, and the pair have gotten these kinds of calls, too. Just want to say thanks for being stand-up America. The Langs say they have no regrets. Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. I see things through. And I think this is probably the best thing that we could have done. The couple tells me they have looped in local police, but the calls and messages are being sent anonymously or in ways that are untraceable. Police have stepped up patrols in the area, and the couple says they've taken extra security measures themselves. Here in Malvern, Chester County, Leland Pinder for Action News at 10 on PHL 17.